Yeah, no. That's a great question. Do you guys help with uh, background vocals for Sid, or is just, or do, are you the only singer? Uh, it's on the albums or just in general? Yeah, in general. I did one song. I just give it time, and I was scared as hell. <laughs> I mean, we all we all help out. Like Steve, our guitar player, sung on um. Curse, like I sung on a few songs. Uh, you sung on Gabby. Yeah, help write a few songs and, uh, and, the, and like some hidden tracks. And then the other albums I used to sing. But I mean, just we sing all. We all have mics on stage. We all sing together. But that's new. Yeah, that's that's like new. We're still like getting used to that. But for the most part, we don't really have any restrictions with our band. Like if you have something you want to sing, sing it. You know, it's it's kind of how it works. So you know, it, you know, you can come on there and sing. Well, Purple Naked Ladies was mostly done by me and Matt. He had a beat on there, he played drums on there on like a song. But that was mostly me and Matt. Uh, so over the years and over the projects, I'll say it's gotten a lot more collaborative. My voice has grown a lot. Uh, we've all just gotten better at what we do. Matt came up on some harder drum sounds for the new album. And Chris got some new kits, so when we do it live, it's like, you know, a little more different kinds of textures involved. And same with the bass and, and the keys. I think we all just, our main goal is to always just get better uh, at whatever it is that we're focusing on at the time. So, I'd say we've gotten better. <laughs> and that's all, that's all we can ask for. For the song um, Special Affair. What was the inspiration behind that bass line? Because, I'm sorry, it's... it's Steve Lace. Okay, here's a, here right a funny story about that bass line. Uh, what happened was, um, Steve had been coming through the studio and, like, just, you know, he was 16 at the time, just... He was, like, the little homie at the studio, <laughs> and um, he had, like, a bunch of beats that were just, like, rough, like, ideas. Because this was before he was actually making beats, like, like that. And Special Affair bass line was originally, like, do 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 yeah, that fast. It was that fast. Like, a live drum sample. Which was kind of, it was really tight. It was tight, but then I made, like, the, the drums that are on the song now, and it was, like, you know, a little more seductive, and he slowed it down, and then, <laughs> yeah, so Steve Lacey, man, that bass line, he, it, he had it for a minute, so... It was just faster. So, <laughs> so since we are talking about special affair, um, the lines in there, like at the beginning, they're very like forward towards women. And so are some of the other songs that you did. Death. Did uh, Sid? Did you just write those, or did anyone else contribute? And how does that compare to how you are in real life talking to the ladies? <laughs> Me. <laughs> 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 I wrote that song with um, a girl. Actually, I was talking to Taylor today. I wrote that song with a girl named Taylor Parks. And I, it's funny that you mentioned the first two lines. I had those first two lines written for like a month before I could like finish the rest of the song. I had the first three lines written for like a month. Didn't know where to go with it. And then linked up with her and she went. Um, for, me, that was a, for me, that was me writing what's going on in my head when I'm at the but I don't usually say that stuff out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know what's on your playlist for each of you. What are the things that inspire you musically? Um, just in general.